Welcome to The Life Poetic with Thomas Kiley, your weekly knowledge drop of wordcrafted invocation. This week we're looking at Australia 1970 by Judith Wright. Die, wild country, like the eagle hawk, dangerous till the last breath's gone, clawing and striking. Die, cursing your captor through a raging eye. Die like the tiger snake that hisses such pure hatred from its pain as fills the killer's dreams with fear like suicide's invading stain. Suffer, wild country, like the ironwood that gaps the dozer blade, I see your living soil ebb with the tree to naked poverty. Die like the soldier ant, mindless and faithful to your million years, though we corrupt you with our torturing mind. Stay obstinate, stay blind. For we are conquerors and self-poisoners, more than scorpion or snake, and dying of the venoms that we make, even while you die of us. I praise the scoring drought, the flying dust, the drying creek, the furious animal, that they oppose us still, that we are ruined by the thing we kill. Judith Wright, like all good poets, was a long, long way ahead of her time. Um, particularly with her relationship to the environment on, and on Australia's relationship with Indigenous Australians, she was years ahead of the curve, like 30 or 40 years. And a lot of the ideas that she was putting forward way back in 1970 are ideas that have real resonance and currency today. And I think this is why that we're seeing right now Australia, uh, Judith Wright becoming Australia's poet laureate, uh, like Australia's most loved poet. Uh, Judith Wright's descriptions of country which, which fill her poetry are very beautiful and are very evocative and always very reverent to the power that there is in country. Um, and I love this piece as a, as a political statement, as a statement on the importance of the environment. Because it's so powerful, because it is drawing in the fearful aspects of the environment, it's not trying to create some Disney-esque picture of the environment where it would all just be beautiful and happy and birds tweet tweeting and squirrels running around if only we would just come together and be one and understand that the environment's precious and we should look after it. Um, I don't think that vision has any currency, it doesn't have any reality. I think the truth of the environment is that it is very dangerous and it is very powerful, but that its beauty and its sacredness comes through that power. Um, I'm reminded of Rumi's line, um, be like the hawk. You are most beautiful when you are after food. And I think that the environment's strength is in its power. And this piece here, Australia 1970, is a celebration of that power. And it is evoking the environment to step fully into its power, even, if it, even as it steps towards its death. And it steps towards the death that hum humanity is bringing about. And I think this piece also strikes a very humble tone and right there in the last line that we are ruined by the things we kill, I think brings back this idea that no matter what we do, what humanity ends up doing, there will be a divine justice, there will be a reconciliation, that the injustices that we inflict on the world will in turn be inflicted on us. So there is nothing is sort of gained or lost in this equation, only humanity. And so this is the danger that we face in this sort of rush towards environmental devastation is we're just going to hurt ourselves. And I think that is a very potent message and it's something I think humanity is just coming to understand and really speaks to Judith Wright's visionary power that she identified this way back in 1970 and made this one of the central rallying cries of her environmental protest. So let's have another look. Die, wild country, like the eagle hawk, dangerous till the last breath's gone, clawing and striking. Die, cursing your captor through a raging eye. Die like the tiger snake, that hisses such pure hatred from its pain as fills the killer's dreams with fear like suicide's invading stain. Suffer, wild country, like the iron wood that gaps the dozer blade. I see your living soil ebb with the tree to naked poverty. Die like the soldier ant, mindless and faithful to your million years. Though we corrupt you with our torturing mind, stay obstinate, stay blind. For we are conquerors and self-poisoners, more than scorpion or snake, and dying of the venoms that we make, even while you die of us. 
I praise the scoring drought, the flying dust, the drying creek, the furious animal, that they oppose us still, that we are ruined by the things we kill. This has been the Life Poetic with Thomas Kiley. See you next week.